Hello everybody, it's Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke, here at Curdo's in Westchester County. And uh, the Ring of Fire is coming. More on that later. Um, here I am, standing in front of an Alfresco ALXE 42 Sear Zone model. And if uh, you've been a follower of my videos, or you've just stumbled across them on YouTube, um, or your Google search, you'll see I've made a lot of videos about this grill, about this brand. And if you watch them, one would come across, one would probably take away and say, hey, um, this guy not only loves his brand, he can't find anything wrong with it. And while it's true that I've spent a lot of time waxing poetically about it, um, there actually is one issue that I have with the grill um, from a design perspective. And this is really something that came up to me, it really came up from user feedback, people who had purchased the grill from me um, over the past couple of years. And I mean, I got one from my mother and even my mother made a comment about it, but uh, you know, maybe that's what really resonated with me. But nevertheless, it's not a big deal and it's something Alfresco is aware of. And I think I don't know, in the next generation, they may do something to, uh, to you know, correct it or tweak it. But anyway, the grill, right, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous piece of uh, craftsmanship over here. But the one thing about it is that when you look at the control panel, what they did uh, differently than before is that the manifold that has the knobs on it has an inward angle, okay? And that makes the knobs very uh, prominent. These knobs are beautiful, by the way. Uh, they're nickel knobs, so they're gonna actually hold up really well, especially for you folks who are out on the water, or near the water. Uh, the nickel uh, content will not pit, and we really like that, particularly with uh, salt in the, um, in the atmosphere. But the manifold is angled in. And then we have those amber lights above the knobs, which, you know, are neither here nor there in my opinion. But the problem that a few folks have told me is that they find it very challenging to see what temperature they're at on the knobs when standing in front of it. Because the low, medium, high is not imprinted on the actual manifold, it's on the knobs, but it's kind of recessed in the back of the knob and the amber lighting really isn't functional. It doesn't really illuminate it. The amber lighting is here to make it look funky, fresh, and sexy, but from a functional aspect, eh. So a few folks, and it's probably a handful, have just said, you know what? I really can't see where I am in terms of adjusting the knob. So people have made cheats. They've marked um, the knob itself. They put markings on the actual manifold. I'm gonna show you a very quick um, hack to get around this. Basically, with the grill, you're either at off, you're at high, you're at what they actually call on it, max, and then you have min, and then you have the sweep between max and min. So, when the grill is off, the A is pointed south, okay? The A is at six o'clock. When you are at max, the grill is at three o'clock, I should say the A. The A is at 3 o'clock, and when you are on min, you are at, I'd say, kind of 1-ish or so, all right? So, um, yeah, between, say, 1 and 2 o'clock. So, that's really the only thing that's come up to, you know, and, and there are some folks who, it's not an issue because they have really bright lighting near the grill, not a problem. Um, what in the conversations that I've had with Alfresco, they're aware of it. I think there's talk about a new grill series coming out in 2020. A little too early to get into that right now, but I know there has been some talk about potentially the bezel being illuminated. That's something that DCS has actually done uh, with the Series 9 grill that just came out. That would certainly help matters. But what I'm doing now in my house, because I don't really have good lighting in my yard, so again, when I know that I need to turn everything off, lest the grill is on all night with the potential of the you know, catastrophic situation of that, we are at, the A is at 12 o'clock, I'm sorry, six o'clock pointing south. When we're ripping, the A is at three o'clock. And then, when we're minimum or so, we're at one. 
So in essence, that's really the only drawback, if you want to call it, with the grill. And I just gave you a quick hack to get around that. Other than that, yeah, that's how I feel about this thing. Um, anyway, short and quick video. Hope it helps all you new Alfresco owners out there or potential Alfresco owners to be. Um, hit me up. Any questions, just Jonathan at Curtis.com. The phone is getting a little difficult, folks. I'm inundated here. And the ring of fire is coming, which means I'm getting even busier. So uh, email is always best, okay? And uh, if you're in the tri-state area and you want to come in and kick the tires, make an appointment. I'd be happy to... Uh, party with you and uh, talk grills and maybe even take a test drive with one of them. Again, Jonathan at Curtis.com. Thank you very much.